I'm Bill with the Van Packer Company and this morning we're going to show you how to install our model GRZ product. First thing we're going to do, we recommend doing this with all of our products. We're going to clean all the flanges with uh, Permatex Parts Cleaner. It's an acetone based cleaner. We have to, we recommend using an acetone parts cleaner on all of our products. Second thing we're going to do is put our Boss silicone sealant uh, around the flange. We recommend about an uh, eighth to a quarter bead of sealant all the way around. So we have the silicone on. Uh, next thing we're going to do is mate up the section. Uh, when you go to mate up the section, make sure that you don't accidentally smear the sealant off. If you do ever smear the sealant off, just reapply the sealant and start over. Just kind of go straight on, line everything up. If it was a bigger section or any section, we want to try to get a bolt in each corner. Getting a bolt in each corner kind of keeps it all aligned and that way it doesn't move around on you when you're trying to get the rest of the bolts in. We're gonna get all the bolts in. We're gonna get them snug and then we're gonna go around and tighten them the rest of the way up to about four foot pounds. The bolts are all snug. So now I'm gonna go around one more time and finish them off to about four foot pounds. Now is the time to wipe off any extra sealant that may have smooshed out on the outside or the inside. Uh, you just take a rag and you, you can wipe it off. Uh, next step is to pack insulation around this joint. You have to have three complete wraps all the way around this joint. Once you have three complete wraps around there, the next thing we're gonna put on is our draw band to cover up the gap right here. Uh, if this was an exterior insulation, you would wanna put a bead of sealant around the top if it was in the vertical position so that way moisture, rainwater cannot get down in there. Draw band normally goes on pretty easy. And then I just use an impact to kind of snug up the bolts when I'm done. So that's the complete assembly. Uh, the only other thing we'd recommend is if this is in the vertical position as it's sitting right now, I would put maybe a self-tapping screw in the top of it, maybe in four places all the way around it, one on each side to hold the draw band into place so over time it doesn't shake down. Um, I always assemble things the easiest way. As you can see, I'm doing it here on the table. Uh, what I would do is assemble a few pieces, depending on how big or small it was, on a table or a workbench. And then I would use our lifting devices uh, to lift things into place. We have a couple lifting devices. We have what we call our vertical lifting device. It just bolts right onto the flange, and then you can see it's got a nice hook on there for lifting everything into place. It comes in handy in, in vertical positions. Here's an example of our horizontal lifting device. As you can see, it is kind of the same concept as our vertical lifting device. It just goes around the, the shell for lifting horizontal sections. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to call us or email us, our tech support department is always willing to help.